Crude oil drew by 7.7 .7 million barrels this past week. Here to talk to me about it today is Peter Amandio. Peter, thanks so much for being here. Morning. So uh, your first take on why we saw such a huge drawdown in crude. Well, one of the trends that I've been seeing lately is whenever crude oil falls really hard and ends up in the $91, $92 range, uh, whenever we have drawdowns, they seem to be really big, which it makes sense. Whenever we fall really hard, it would make sense that you would draw the crude then and with refinery runs being really high, it makes sense that we have builds in products at that time, too. Yeah, I was going to say, so we also saw gasoline and distillates did build. Uh, you'd think that maybe at least in distillates we'd see some of a, a draw, but uh, what do you make of those moves? Uh, I, would, I would suspect that you would have a little bit of a draw in uh, heating oil just because of the weather. As far as gasoline goes and the gasoline crack goes, I, I've been looking at it on a technical basis, and I think if crude oil heads a lot lower and breaks that 91 and a quarter area, I think you could see the gas crack trade up into the low 20s. With that being said, with crude oil going higher, it could go as low as 15 again. So then final take, uh, what are you expecting in crude, at least for the next uh, few weeks? What kind of price point are you looking for? Well, now this morning that we traded above 93 and a quarter and should settle above 93 and a quarter, it looks like it might have some retracement from that really hard move we had over the past few weeks. And we could test as high as $97. It goes through those levels, you can see it back up to 101 again. But I would suspect that test $97 first. And also you have to consider the Iranian situation and the lifting of the sanctions on January 20th that we haven't had before. So that might have an effect on the market. All right, Peter, thanks so much for your take. Thank you. For The Street, I'm Joe Dell.